We continue to take you on a zip trip to Spartanburg this morning. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is joining us live, continuing to tell us about all the sights and sounds and all the wonderful things to do. Good morning, Christine. I think so too. Yes, yeah, Spartanburg, pretty darn wonderful and it feels great out here. I know you've been listening to this forecast that says hot, 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 but right now we're nice and cool, mostly because Jessica's standing right next to me. She is uh -huh. professor of studio art at Wofford and really I would say art guru of all of Spartanburg. You're telling us just all the different ways that we can see, experience, look at art, and you don't necessarily have to know a ton about art to see it in Spartanburg, right? How do we start off with this? You start out by just looking. Yeah. So if one of the first places for Spartanburg mm -hmm. is visitspartanburg.com. Okay. And you can go there. There is an excellent site where you can actually see a lot of our murals downtown. Mm -hmm. So right now on Bond Street, we have the Black Lives Matter mural. It's one yes. of the first Black Lives Matter mural in all of South Carolina. Carolina um, and you can actually go to the website and see all the mirrors that we have offered and there's also exhibitions going on so right now at Wofford College we're preparing for an exhibition featuring three Korean women artists two from Atlanta one from New York by way of Philadelphia and the work is amazing it's drawing painting sculpture ceramics vis video art any kind of medium every kind of medium to express the ideas and, and, and explore ideas around um, Asian culture and really? identity Yes. I yes. mean, that's different to yes. me. That seems like a really unique for something here in the South, right. the Spartanburg to have. And all of the art is really unique, right. too. I mean, right. we've got lots of colors. We've got a little bit behind us here. Right. We've got, is it Chaser? Chaser, I yes. love this dog. Yes. 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 And that Wofford tie. There you know? is a Wofford tie with a, a former Wofford professor. Uh, one of the, uh, apparently he trained, uh, trained him how to do math, amazing which is amazing. Dog. But the fact that we make it art and we remember right. it that way, would right. you say, what, what does art mean? to Spartanburg? Why, why is it important here? I think it is about representation. It's about telling stories and I am also the principal artist for the Southside Cultural Heritage, Culture and Heritage uh, Commemorative Memorial and wow. Monument and with that we are celebrating the contributions of African Americans from the Southside and Greater Spartanburg through this mural and it's expected to be up in June 2022. 2022, okay great. Yes. We can follow that, we can put that on our calendars. Absolutely. And there's also some sort of a trail we can follow too, right? A little hop, skip, and a jump we kind of touched on, but but that's something that you can physically go through. Right, there are, sure. there's actually an art walk on Thursdays, and that's actually on the Chapman Cultural Center website. You can learn more about that. Um, there's also the Johnson Collection. Uh, right there's Yes. You can the, see it. You can actually see a lot of the work in the Johnson Collection. I think the best thing to do is to start out downtown, you know, because there's a lot of work that is the crosswork art uh, experience where there's different crosswalks downtown that are painted okay. by local artists, one of which is Michael Webster um, within our department. He's in sculpture. So everyone's okay. contributing the best way they can in regards, in, in regards to making this a vibrant arts experience in general. Spartanburg, vibrant and alive, guys. We talked about the food and the entertainment downtown. Now you have to come for the art. Really cool, guys. Bye -bye to you. So much to do. All right, Christine, thanks so much. And of course, Spartanburg, just one of our many zip trips. Seven News is visiting different cities all over our area. Our next stop is Fountain Inn. Next Friday, we're going to take a closer look at what makes Fountain Inn so special. It begins with Carolina Morning from 5 to 7 a.m. on 7 News, and then from 7 to 9 a.m. on the CW. Then the fun continues from 9 to 10 a.m. on Your Carolina. Find out more about future zip trips. Just click on Zip Trips under the News tab at WSPA.com.